Hi there. So the call last week was really great. Um, the getting unstuck, how to move your career into film and TV. And the questions were amazing uh, about how to deal with agents and what it is to be stuck doing the same thing over and over again. And I want to respond to some of the questions with a general response about anxiety. Actor anxiety kills us. <laughs> we take it into auditions. We need this part, we need this part. Our life is going to change if we get this one part. We need this part. And what I want to talk about is the chase without the anxiety, all right? Or this idea of pursuit with pleasure. And reframe what it is to take control of your career. To take control of your career is not to want somebody to like you or to sign you. To take control of your career is to plot out step by step how you are going to continue to work for the life of your career, not just, just this one job, right? So if you're thinking about this one job, it's just this one job, that will make you pick up a breakdown, see they're casting something, call all your friends, find out that they're going in for it, call your agent over and over and over again and demand why you're not going in for it. And that's anxiety, as if that one job is going to change everything. Sure, maybe you booked it. You can never work in TV again. How many people are on canceled half-hour sitcoms that air twice and then we've never seen them again? How many people are on your favorite sitcom of all time? Just think about it for a minute, right? Think about your favorite sitcom of all time. Are all of those people still working in the business? I mean, I think of what Wendell Pierce, lovely actor and friend of mine, told me. The work could stop at any moment. So you have to treat each job like a special thing because it could stop at any moment. And what else do you have, right? What else does the rest of your life look like? Do you have other interests? Do you have other hobbies? Do you write? Do you sing, right? It's part of a well-rounded life. And that you're looking at not just this year or this pilot season or tomorrow or six months from now. How are you going to work for the life of your career to become a working artist all the time? Right? When you frame it that way, the rush goes away. And what comes in its place is, let me start making some plans for next pilot season, for this summer. Let me plot out a way that I can work all the time. That way, that feeling when you hear of other actors going out for things that you haven't gone out for, well, you're already working on getting something else. That sense of you're not missing anything because you're so busy with your strategy to work all the time that you know the work is coming. It's always coming. Because you haven't figured out how to get the next audition, you figured out how to become a working actor. And that can be very exciting. It puts the ball back in your court, right? You don't have to have those painful conversations and coffees with your agents about why you didn't go in for this or that, right? Because you know what that conversation causes? It causes you to doubt that they're really working for you. So that's anxiety. Then you're questioning them and they've been on the phone all day trying to get you into auditions and submitting, submitting your headshot and resume to countless auditions every day. And sometimes you get a call back and sometimes you don't, right? In many ways, your agent is getting a lot more no's than you are. They're shielding you from all of that rejection. So when you meet with them, when you then lump on top of that, well, why doesn't I get any seen for that? And was I've submitted? How about we take that pressure off and assume that of course you've been submitted. You know why? Because if your agents don't submit you and you don't go on auditions and you don't book them, they don't make any money. So they're not keeping you around and not submitting you. They're doing their damnedest to get you seen and get you work. Otherwise, all of the jobs that they beg, plod, submit, plead, call, all of that effort that they put in, two or three hours that you want to audition, 
if one doesn't pan out, then all their time has been wasted. So you see how your agents are in there going up against rejection constantly. Because they may pitch you for 10 things. You may get seen for one. But the fact that they continue to send you out means they haven't given up on you. So give yourself a break and realize you've got somebody who's looking out for you. Why don't you help them help you? And that's where this idea of having a long-term strategy is about, right? And it's something that I want to talk about building into the class, Get Unstuck, Move Your Career into Film and TV, which is a one-time class I'll be offering the next three weeks. And I want to talk about how you reshape your life so that you have a long-term strategy. So that all those feelings of not being good enough because you didn't get an audition, all those times you're listening to your friends talk about auditions they've been on, all those times you're sitting at your temp job wondering why am I here, all of that goes away because you're too busy with your strategy, with your plan. And once you put your plan in place, you're always going to be working. That's what I want to teach you. And today, I'm going to give you one simple step in that direction. One thing you can do right now for your plan. Actually, I'm going to give you a couple of things. This is cheat. Um, and all of this will help set you up for this class that I'll be offering in about another week. So I'm going to send out a couple of videos with a couple of strategies that just do me a favor. Just try them and tell me how you feel. Right? I'd love to hear your responses on the blog where I'll be posting this video on my Coaching with Avery Livet Thompson page. Try these exercises and then let's talk about how they made you feel. Let's talk about what strategies you come up with just from this simple exercise. This simple exercise is fun. <laughs> Imagine you're going to do something through your career that's fun. Well, we're actors and we do plays, right? And the operative verb in the word play is play. That's what acting on a TV set or a film set is. It's playing. So I want you to make a list of the favorite places you like to play. Like sky is the limit. Go through your Netflix K and pick out your all time favorite episodes of shows. Your favorite films and watch them and look for scenes or parts. You go, I would be so good for that. Do you know how you come up with that all the time? You went in for something and then you didn't get it and you look for that episode to air and you go, God, I would have been really good in that. Would you? I think you'll surprise yourself. I think you'll find that there's 10 more scenes in each episode that you'd probably be even better at. But because there's not a breakdown, you didn't think about trying to get an audition for them. I want you to reimagine what it is that you love about this business. What characters make you excited? I want you to not care about their gender. I want you to not care about their age, their race. Oh, how can this free you up, right? Let me just say to my people of color folks out there, black, Asian, Latino, don't pick black, Asian, Latino parts. Just ignore that all together, right? Because all those things put you in a box and I'm asking you to think outside of the parameters. Think if there were no breakdowns, if there were no only one type. Think if you could play anything you want. Start watching those shows. Start watching those movies. Pull those scenes. If something makes you laugh, if something makes you cry, make a note. That scene? has something in it for you, something that you need to learn how to do on camera. So make this list. I promise you, rom-com, stand-up comedy, skit comedy, pick the scene, pick the moments, and make a list, right? Favorite scenes. And I want to see 20 of them. You will surprise yourself how you open up to your dreams, see? Because your dreams are your fuel. They're what keep you in this business. We are in the business of selling possibility. That's what actors are. We are acrobats of the human condition. We go out there and try the things that other human beings are afraid of by taking on these parts. And we give our audience permission to dream about what could be. Well, I'm asking you as an artist to dream. 
out loud by choosing these scenes and imagine the scope of the roles, right? Go back to, you know, the time before Christ when the Vikings were running all over the planet. I actually love that show, Vikings. <laughs> I just love Vikings, right? Well, I don't know. I wouldn't be a Norse woman. <laughs> I wouldn't be a battle maiden. But maybe there's a character like that that's interesting to me. Pull that scene. Doesn't matter that the time and the... Ignore the realities. You are an acrobat of the human condition. Reality doesn't matter. The only thing that can limit you is the breadth and scope of your imagination. So let's look for those parts and make a list. And if you really want to be sassy, start transcribing those scenes. Use them as audition scenes for your agent when you show them the new stuff that you can do. And perhaps they can pitch you for different stuff. Simple exercise. Find the scenes that you love. Transcribe them. Get a coach in. Learn how to do them. Put them on camera as an audition. And then send it to your agent and go, can you imagine? I know this isn't the right type, but like I feel this character. I understand them. And send it to them. Magic will happen. It's a simple little thing that you can do to change and reframe the sense of powerlessness into reminding yourself why you love this business. That's my first exercise. I want you to go off and I want you to try it. And know that the scenes that you come up with, this isn't a waste of time. This is a part of the larger strategy that I'm gonna teach of getting unstuck. Move your career into film and TV. Because I promise you most of the stuckness feeling is actually you limiting yourself. So I am giving you permission, I, April Yvette Thompson, am giving you permission to take the blinders off, take the limits away, and dream your dream roles. Start learning them today. And then write to me and tell me how it went. Respond to the email I'm sending to you. Respond on my blog. Respond on the Coaching with April Yvette Thompson FB page. Respond on Twitter. I'm April Y. Thompson on Twitter. All right? Wherever. Let me know how it's going. Find me on LinkedIn. I'm April Yvette Thompson on LinkedIn. And tell me how it's going. Tell me what you learned. Tell me what exciting scenes you put together. Tell me about that beautiful transformation. Because that fuels me as an artist, but also as a teacher. Transform yourself. Do me that favor. Love your craft. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.